We also did another test with you ladies. You are all 99% European, of European descent. That's not a big surprise, but now we're gonna get a little bit more specific. This company combines both British and Irish together. And there are slight differences because, Nicole, you're 18% British and Irish. Mm -hmm. Erica, you're 16% British and Irish. But Jacqueline, you're almost 19% British and Irish. Oh, wow. And we found some bigger differences. For example, Nicole, you're 11% French and German. But Erica, you're 22.3% French and German. Wow, that's wow. weird. According to this. Is France more. <laughs> 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 that's then, interesting. Yeah. It's very in shocking. It is kind of shocking. And, and Jacqueline, my... you're 18% okay. French Somewhere and German. In the middle. So there were, but there were bigger discrepancies. Yours was twice as much as hers. Mm -hmm. I am surprised though I because we came from the same right. DNA. egg and we have the same DNA. And we'd like to show you one more result, okay? Um, again, we noticed some other differences in your Scandinavian descent. So Nicole, 11.4%, Erica, 7.4, and Jacqueline 7.4, Scandinavian. Mm, well. And you were both, all of you actually, were 1% Iberian and Balkan. So we found a few discrepancies, and Dr. Travis, what does that say to you when you look at the fact that they're identical triplets? What is your takeaway from these tests? Well, I'm not a, a geneticist, but I love these, the idea of these at-home tests for fun. Mm -hmm. And hearing about your all's results in the slight disparities, whatever your heritage is, obviously it's wonderful because the three of you are Thank wonderful. You. But it does make, I think, everyone a little bit curious, right? Where, where do I come from? Oh, it kind of makes me want to look into each sample DNA result and say, okay, what's a little different about me that maybe why I'm 24% or she's 7 and I'm 7 and you're 11? Like, because even that, I'll look into it and see maybe why I'm a little different here or there or maybe not. You well, know. again, you know, what, what we were really interested in is, A, the popularity of this trend of wanting to look into our backgrounds, and also by testing triplets and quadruplets, we kind of get a little bit more information about how accurate is it. Let me it. ask you this, Lisa, be you, you are an investigative journalist. After going through this, what are your thoughts of the at-home tests, which are everywhere now, mm -hmm. as opposed to more formal laboratory genetic testing? I'm going to do both. I think that I've... it's piqued my curiosity too. So I wanna find out, I mean, I know I'm Latina on my mom's side and English on my dad's side, but I wanna know how much, but I wanna do both. I wanna do an at-home mm -hmm. kit, but then I'm gonna probably spend a little bit more money and mm -hmm. do it with a doctor and find out what the real results are. But isn't it interesting? Aren't you guys? Yeah. I, I think it's an interesting subject. We've come so far in terms of genetic testing, genetic sequencing, or should, I should say DNA sequencing, but we're not to a place yet where you can just spit in a cup and have every single answer that you're looking for. I think that that's what people need to be aware of. Uh, I'm really glad you did this story, Lisa. You can check out her full story on Inside Edition. And for more information, of course, as always, head over to our website, thedoctorstv.com.